Welcome to OJ Studios. I hope you enjoy Punishment by Olivia Julius. Chapter 16 Setting Up and Getting Ready Ethan, Rebecca, and I sat in the bed of Aunt George's pickup truck as she drove us out to where the carnival is. I watched as dust came up from the tires as we rocked down the road hitting almost every pothole. I was both excited that I was going and kind of scared, I don't know what to expect. Most of the kids my age that will be here won't recognize me. Since I'm only interact with them once a year, I know they won't call me out for being a girl this year. But the fear remained. Aunt Georgia stopped her car in the makeshift parking lot that was one of her corn fields. As we got off her truck, she handed us a case of water and instructed us to deliver them to the stage. I followed Ethan as I looked around at the area. When Aunt Georgia first started hosting the Easter Carnival it was nothing more than a few arts and craft stations for kids in an Easter egg hunt. Now it was what more than that? A local business that rents out carnival rides volunteer their rides every year so they can test them after the long Missouri winters. They can also use this to train their new carnies. Since then, it has been getting bigger and bigger to the point that people come from across the state just to go to it. The makeshift stage where the contest was to be held was on top of two of my aunt's flatbed semi-trailers that were parked end to end. A box semi-trailer was behind them and painted on it was a pink Easter bunny with the words Easter Fair on it. There are doors cut out on the side of it so people could go from backstage to the stage without having to climb up the outside of the trailer. Everything must be movable. In a few months everything on this field will be gone and corn will start to grow just in time for Aunt Georgia to host a Halloween fair complete with a corn maze in this very field. There's never a dull moment at Aunt Georgia's farm. After an hour of working Rebecca called me over so I can start getting ready for the Easter Princess contest. We went into a small room located inside the back of the van trailer where the pink dress was already hung up on a shelf. Mom was already inside sitting at a small desk. Next to her was a pair of white lace tights and two heels that Aunt Georgia bought for me. I sighed a little bit as I realized that this was it. The last few days of the punishment has reached at height. I could have never predicted that I would be stuck being in the Easter Princess contest as a girl, but here I am sucking in a deep breath watching mom as she took the dress off the hanger and instructed me to get undressed. I did as I was told, and mom started to roll up the tights and waited for me to be ready. I sat down on a bench and took the tights and put them up on both of my feet as I did mom got the dress ready for me to put it on. On Thursday I fought to not wear a dress, now here I am willingly putting on one of the girlish dresses I have ever seen any girl wear. Ever. Mom zipped up the dress and tied a bow in the back. I looked in a small mirror on the wall and the girl in the reflection looked back at me. I still can't believe that the girl is me. Mom took out her makeup back and started to lay out some of her makeup as she told me what they were. Words like blush, lipstick, and mascara all went over my head but mom just sat me down and promised that she would make me look as pretty as possible. After an hour of mom putting makeup on me, I was finally able to leave the trailer. I wobbled a little on the heeled shoes and walked onto one of the flatbed trailers. There I was both Rebecca and Ethan sitting on the edge talking. Both had changed into their Easter outfits. Ethan was wearing a light blue shirt with a black sweater vest and black slacks while Rebecca was wearing a black and yellow sleeveless dress with a sunflower print all over the skirt of the dress. Hey! I said getting their attention. Rebecca was the first to look up and when she did her face lit up. You look amazing! She said getting from the edge and coming around to see me from different angles. Oh, my goodness I love the dress! Thanks! I said shyly! Ethan followed her up and looked at me up and down. Looks nice. He said be before playing his game. With that dress you will be for sure the winner. Rebecca continued, I can't wait. I sighed a little as I realized that I couldn't wait either. There is no way I couldn't lose to Rhea at the contest. I looked around as people started to show up, some of them were already picking what seat on the bleachers they were going to be sitting. Behind them I could see rides were still running and I couldn't wait to get out of this dress and ride them afterwards. A voice came from left hand side of the stage that surprised me. I looked in the direction of the voice and saw her. Amanda it is you.